Okay, well, I've got a project violin that I'm going to work on. Um, this is a Stainer uh, violin, and I think it uh, dates back to the um, 1800s, late 1800s. Um, it's labeled inside Jacobus Stainer, and uh, yeah, he was a well-known luthier back in the day. Of course, uh, you know, he's long gone when this one was made, but um, it's a beautiful, it's in great condition. Um, I got it next to nothing, but it wasn't playable when I acquired it, but it's in pretty good shape. The maple flame is just beautiful on this instrument, as you can see. <coughs> and uh, the spruce on the top is really interesting, too. It's got a very tight grain pattern. I don't know if you can pick it up on this. Towards the center where the bridge is, you can see how tight the grain is there. And as it moves out towards the edge, it gets wider. Um, I had done a little bit of research on this, and I think this was a it's intentional. I'm, I'm by no means a luthier, but I do appreciate, um, you know, fine workmanship and everything. And uh, this is uh, a well-made violin. Um, so it's, it's worth some TLC that I'm going to put into it. I'm dying to hear how it sounds. I'm going to install some of the planetary tuning pegs on this instrument. And um, I'm going to go with a rosewood. I thought that would be really nice complementing, you know, uh, this piece. And I'm going to put a, a new tailpiece on, as well as a new chin rest, all rosewood, to match the pegs. Um, there is a slight uh, crack on this, though. Uh, it's right in, let's see where you can see it. I think it's right there, yeah. I'll take it over to a luthier that I trust and have him repair that. That's beyond uh, my skill set, of course. So I'll take it over there for him to, to work on it. Um, the bridge seems, it looks, you know, like it's seen some use, but the bridge seems to be in pretty good shape. It's pretty straight, and uh, I don't think I'll get it, you know, have it fitted for a new bridge just yet dying to hear how it sounds. It seems to be adapted pretty well once there's tension on the strings. Um, so I'm gonna just go with that bridge for right now. And uh, again, I'll probably, when I have the crack repaired right there, I'll um, have him um, maybe replace the bridge as well. Here's, here's the crack. I don't think that's going to affect the playability of it. It's right there where my finger is. It's it's fortunately it's not continuing down but yeah it's been taken pretty good care of I'm really interested to see how that see how that's going to sound when I put it together <laughs> 